You know, besides, like any time you play Duke, it's going to be a tough battle. Obviously, they were uh, unfortunate. Uh, Nico, the guy that normally plays one, hasn't been playing this year, and I think maybe they have another person out. But you know, that's how it goes. You know, I think I think they played very well for themselves, and you know, the scores were pretty tight all the way up and down for the for the most part. Uh, but you know, you can't you can't look at. I mean, there, once. Once Duke and North Carolina play, especially here, you throw the rankings out, you throw the rankings out the window, uh, and it's going to be a good battle. And so, you know, overall, I was really happy, you know, for the score to end up six-one. You know, for a while there, it was looking a little, a little tough. Uh, you know, I think we had down f- breaks on a lot of different courts, and so uh, I think it was, you know, overall, very good. And then, then, you know, we talked about at the beginning. Of the week, this is a big week for us. You know, we got obviously Duke, and then we, you know, on Friday we have the number two team in the country at at their place at Wake. Um, so, you know, we talked about that. You know, I, after the match, I was talking with TJ from, from Duke, and we were kind of reminiscing about four years and you know, how we played, battled each other, you know, through the years our teams have battled. Um, and I just really quickly wanted to say uh, how much, you know, respect for Duke I've had ever since they recruited me. Text that I got, I got, you know, after we won National Winders last year, got a lot of different uh, text messages, but one that sticks out to me was uh, Ramsey, texting me and with a really nice note congratulating us um, on, on winning and that's something that I'll always remember and I'll always be be thankful for so 